In this video, we'll talk about Huntington disease, which is a progressive neurodegenerative disease. Huntington disease is characterized by uncontrolled and uncoordinated dancing like movement, which is known as chorea. Chorea is a Greek word for dancing. This is a normal brain, brain compared with the Huntington's brain. Certain area in the brain are degenerated in this disease. Huntington disease affects the functional abilities, movement and motor control. It also leads to cognitive and psychiatric problems. Let's quickly look at the highlights of associated with this disease. First of all, it is characterized phenotypically by dancing-like movements known as chorea. There are degeneration of a specific type of neuron in the brain region known as striatum which controls motor activities and that explains why there is uncoordinated jerk like movement the age of onset for huntington is 30 to 50 and this particular disease is genetic that means it can be inherited to the next generation in this video we are going to talk about all these points and going to discuss this thing in real details so stay tuned and use a headphone for better audio quality so the major problem associated with Huntington disease is the movement. There could be problems in voluntary movement as well as involuntary movement. So first of all, we have discussed about the jerking and writing movement problem, which is chorea. Along with chorea, there could be other defects such as uncontrolled hand movement, slow and unusual eye movement, difficulty with speech and swallowing. When it comes to voluntary movements, there could be problems in muscle. There could be problem with muscle tone. Dystonia is a common feature of Huntington disease. Impaired gait and posture is another prominent problem in Huntington disease. Generally, humans walk in a rhythm and this is known as the bipedal gait. This gait or this rhythm is totally disrupted in Huntington's patient. Other than that, depression is very common among Huntington's patients and also cognitive decline is another feature. And these symptoms arise well before we can see the clinical symptoms of Huntington disease. Now let's talk about the progression of the Huntington disease. We can understand that in format of a graph. Here on the x-axis we have age and in the y-axis we have signs and symptoms expressed in percentage and there are different stages of the disease progression presymptomatic prodermal early moderate and advanced so gradually there is a decrease in the functional abilities and that's why it's a progressive degeneration disease there is increase in cognitive impairments over the disease progression also the motor impairments and chorea like movement increases with the advancement of this disease. Initially, the damage to the brain is very regionally specific and it affects an area which controls the motor coordination. This area is known as the basal ganglia. The basal ganglia is pointed in red in this particular view. In a coronal view, we can see there are certain structures which are associated with movements and basal ganglia. So, Caudate nucleus, putamen, globus pallidus, subthalamic nucleus and substantia nigra, all these components together form the basal ganglia. And in coordination with one another, this basal ganglia controls and specially inhibits unwanted and uncoordinated movements. That pretty much explains why in Huntington chorea there is jerky or chorea-like movement. Now the basal ganglia has specific type of neuron which are inhibitory in nature known as striatal medium spiny neurons. These neurons are gabaergic and inhibits unwanted movements in this particular motor coordination circuitry. Now in this disease we can see the medium spiny neurons are actually degenerated and that results in the uncoordinated surge of movements which leads to chorea like dancing like phenomena so this particular disease is genetically inheritable and the gene responsible for huntington is present in chromosome number four 
generally in huntington gene there is a cag repeat and there are 10 to 25 repeats present in normal individuals whereas in huntington individual these repeats range from 40 to 80 so generally these repeats give rise to glutamine residues marked here in red in Huntington disease, excessive number of glutamine res uh, residues can lead to aggregation of these proteins which lead to degeneration of the medium spiny neurons and that is the key cause associated with Huntington disease. There is a strong correlation between number of CAG repeats and the prevalence of Huntington disease. Huntington disease is more prevalent in European population, US population compared to Asian or African population. And it has been seen that number of CAG repeats are way lesser in these two population compared to a European population. And European population has a higher prevalence compared to Asian or African population. Now, genetic basis of Huntington includes an, an inheritance pattern which is autosomal dominant in nature. So, this individual has one chromosome faulty. That means one chromosome has the mutated Huntington gene and this individual is married to a normal woman so it is likely that their two of their two out of four of their offsprings would have the disease that means 50 percent cases their the progeny would be affected and this is a critical pattern of a typical autosomal dominant trait diagnosis of huntington disease can be done using mri or eeg in EEG, the alteration take place in the alpha wave forms. Other than that, if you have Huntington in your family, you are always prescribed to have a genetic counseling for understanding whether you would be affected or not. Sometimes the symptom might not be visible, but it is also possible that you might be affected by Huntington. So a quicker diagnosis would increase the chances of your survival. Life expectancy of Huntington disease is 10 to 20 years from the onset. Now, there are major problems as so, such as pulmonary aspiration and that leads to severe fatal pneumonia, which is the key cause of death in Huntington's. Now, there are no current treatment for Huntington disease, but the symptoms could be treated and it could give a better lifestyle and increase the lifespan at least a little bit. So, there are few FDA approved drugs such as tetrabenzyne which takes care of these hyperkinetic movement. Now, these anticoria drugs work via depleting monoamine such as dopamine, serotonin from the nerve terminals thereby taming down the hyperkinetic movements seen in Huntington disease. So I hope this was useful. If you like this, please give it a quick thumbs up. You can get many notes and flashcards in my Facebook page with the dynamic notes and flashcards. Your preparation would be super easy. Check out my Facebook and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Support me on Patreon. You can follow me on various social media. All the links are provided in description. I'm also present in Anacademy, which is India's biggest online learning platform. Using a code AP10, you can get a 10% discount. See you in next video.